Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this patron right here. Psych work with the song Shape of a Ghost. Now, what is the shape of a ghost? I would say isn't there's no shape. Right? Very human-like or... There's no shape. There's no shape? I mean, it's, unless you... Casper had shape, but... True. But he was a friendly ghost. He was a friendly ghost. So I don't know if unfriendly ghosts have shape or not. I don't know. I guess we have to press play to find out. Yeah. What a shape of a ghost looks like. Maybe it has no shape. If it's a fat ghost, it's round. Like, what was the name? Slimer? Slimer was round. That must suck. To be a fat ghost? Yeah. Like, imagine... But you have tons of mobility. You're a fucking ghost. You go through walls and shit. Yeah, but... Who cares about your size? But now you can't lose that fat ghost weight. I don't fucking care if I can go through walls and whatever. It's not like I'm going to throw my back out, so who fucking cares? But what if you see a hot lady ghost? And, like, you're trying to, like, shoot your shot... I, th I still think you can do it. I don't think so. Oh, you didn't take care of yourself in your life? No, I think in the ghost world, it's about how scary you can be to the humans. And possessions and shit like that. That's <coughs> How many possessions did you do last week? One. Okay, I need to find somebody this who's like working a little market. bit harder. This is like the stock market. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I picture the whole ghost thing going. I don't know. <laughs> that's the whole ghost dating. It's based on how many possessions. All right. Uh, well, funny enough, that's how dating is now. <laughs> how much possessions you got. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just different kinds of Just possessions. Just different types of possessions. All right, let's fucking sh check this out. Fuck it. It sounds like, you're right. It sounds like shit stayed in Nakamura. Not expecting that. No, no, not at all.
I can't remember if we checked this band in the past or not, and if we did, it was probably so long ago that I don't, well, I don't remember. But fuck, this this one is not one that it's easy to forget. This was fucking good. Yeah, I mean, it's probably so long ago that we forgot that this was the sound, because the way it started, I'm like, because the name is not strange <clears> to me. I think I think we've done this band before, but I don't know this to me. I don't remember it at all, and and I think it was very clear to see from our reaction to the clean vocals. Um, the way it starts off, you're expecting some heavy shit. I was expecting some really dark, like... But then... Oh, then. But this works really well, though. You also got, like, that weird, like, Schmeagle vocal, like, the screaming one after, but it was only, like, a bit. But then he went... Oh, but then he went back. But my thing is, this was so fucking good. I mean, you have that... I thought you were going to say, but my thing is, uh, I didn't like this. No, or... no, no. Oh, okay, okay. This was so fucking good, man. I mean... This is really it has that good. It, it really does. If this is your first time listening to the band, it really does have that psych factor uh, where you think one thing and you get completely sidetracked or you get so completely uh, sideswiped by something else. But it's like so it's in good. Funny dark, dark, dark horror piece. Exactly. But then it, it hits you with like these angelic power metal, power metal vocals. vocals. <clears throat> wow. Darkened symphonic power metal. I, I wouldn't call this power metal. I mean, it sounds more like it symphonic, power, but it has power metal vibes. Uh, it, but it sounds not just the vocals. But it sounds uh, certain pieces of the song <clears throat> sound very like power metal. I, I know, but I was gonna say some parts of the song sound like symphonic black metal, like almost like Demo Borgir. There, like some some, yeah. of the, some parts of this track, and and that's why when the clean vocals come in, it threw me for a loop. Yeah, and at the start, he's like, it does sound like sh because when he clicked on the video, you'll hear the first like. Two seconds. Oh my! Yeah, when I was prepping the video before we before we turned the camera on, it. I I just prepped the video for us to watch, and when I prepped the video, we heard like two seconds. But I heard it because well, you I heard it. I didn't have the. On. I, I didn't have that. And I told them that it sounds like the cello part at the start of the Shinsuke Nakamura theme song from WWE, which it does. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I call him Shitstein. Shitstein Nakamura. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm horrible and I like to butcher names. <laughs> it is what it is. With his uh, what was it? Uh, What's the style? Uh, he's the king of strong style. A strong style. I I I have no. I don't know what strong, style, know what strong style is. God he's forbid. the king of it. He's the only one doing it. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's a strong style. I mean, he's a surfer, in my so, in so. my opinion, the king of strong style is Thorsten. He's not gonna watch this video. I know, but he has some strong style. He does. He does. And he wears the Shinsuke type of like uh, leggings. He's the red ones. Shinsuke wears uh, leather pants. Sorry to break it to you. But those are like leathery leggings. Nah, it's not the same. He's like ahead of Shinsuke. Like he's what Shinsuke wants to be. Like Shinsuke saw Thorsten and was like, I can only do this. Folks watching this video are going to disconnect from the video because they have no clue who we're talking about. So let's I let's don't talk care. About... I do. If you don't know who Thorsten is. Google it. Google him. <laughs> 
He's the Add guy. him on Facebook. Yeah, Do something. Yeah, he's the guy who runs the fucking metal battle in Iceland, and everybody knows him in Iceland. Even the president of the fucking country knows who he is. It's the guy's a legend. He's the nicest person in the world. In the world, he is. He he. If you had no hope in humanity after everything that's happening, you in meet this, this world, guy. You believe you meet this guy. Humanity is saved. No, you have to save him in order to save humanity. Yes, because he's too good for humanity. I don't know why. Like he's just way too good for us. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's such he's, a nice guy. I, he's I love this guy. All right. So, anyways, back to the song. Uh, yeah, like I said, I the name is not strange to me. I, 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 I'm willing to bet we've done this band before, Maybe. unless they had a different vocalist or I don't know. But if we did them before, it wasn't as memorable as this one no, because this one is fucking really memorable. memorable. This song is really good, and uh, the vocal performance was outstanding. The sound was really good. The symphonic stuff, but the darkened vibe, like. Uh, it's just a really good Man, fucking it's, song. It's power metal where the vocals, uh, not the vocals, the lyrics are pleasant to listen to. Yeah, but the, the, the that's the interesting thing about the lyrics is that the 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 symphonic style of the sound matches the whole ghost, dark gothic vibe of the lyrics. So the it goes hand very, in hand. But they're very enjoyable to listen to. His delivery is really enjoyable to listen to. I mean, the fucking guy's voice is amazing. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He could be singing. He could be singing the latest Judas Priest song, and I would think this shit is the best. I don't know. The lyrics in that song are panic attack, panic attack. That's why I was making that joke because the lyrics in this song are actually very enjoyable to listen to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I feel like he's one of those vocalists that can almost sing anything, and he's gonna deliver. Uh, unless that something is the lyrics from Panic Attack, because Nothing those are unbearable. Bad. Those are unbearable. Unless so you can somehow get like Joe for Fifth for an autopsy to, to do a cover. I don't know, man. I don't know those lyrics. I I don't know who wrote that shit, but whoever it is, like meant to be fired. God damn it, man. God damn it. Sometimes, sometimes put the fucking pen down. Hire the same guy Drake hires to write his lyrics. God. Anyways, just saying. Look, I rather. I'd rather listen to a fucking, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, DJ Khaled say his name fucking ten times than listen to those lyrics from I'd rather Panic listen Attack. To, there's a song in Drake's new album where it's his son singing, and his son's like three, or he's like rapping, and his son's like three, and I don't know why people are so, um, like with that song, even friends of mine are like so, oh, he's three years old and he's rap, dude, it's fucking trash, it's so bad. There are some good songs on that album, but that that one is not my. It's not a good song. All right, so uh, in I'm proving that I listen to literally everything. Yeah, and speaking of listening to everything, did you know that Bruno Mars canceled his concert in Israel? Apparently, he's not willing to grab a grenade for you. <laughs> he, he's not gonna. Uh, what was it? Um, what was the song? It's not grab a grenade. Well, but that was the fucking chorus. No, it's not. Uh, grab a grenade. For was it grab? A... Yeah, or whatever. Grab. Hold the grenade. Grab a grenade. Whatever. Like fuck. Are we getting into semantics here? I'll put my head on a platter for you. Like he was doing all of those. <laughs> head on a platter. It seems like stuff that's happening over there. Yeah, yeah. But the grenade too. Like he's, you know. I'll catch it. Catch it. Uh, catch a grenade. Catch okay. A grenade whatever. Hold, grab, catch. Whatever. Well, he wasn't gonna catch any grenades for anybody there. That's why he canceled the show. So, it, which tells you that though that. You know, he's he's not who he says he is. Let me just say. Just yeah, he's lying. Out. He's lying in his songs. I know. See, I, here I am listening to fucking Bruno Mars thinking, fuck, this guy is willing to catch a grenade, catch for, a grenade me. For, for me. me. But if I went to a concert, I want to be front row because I just want to I just want to know that he'll catch a grenade for me. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, and I'll be like, fuck, man. Like, who the fuck is throwing a grenade to me? Because that's also the question that I have. It's like, okay, he's willing to catch it, but who's fucking throwing it? But that's that's irrelevant, because now I know if there is someone who hates me, he won't do it. it. He won't do it. He'll he, he'll say, like, oh, what's this on the ground? And then the grenade goes over him, and I and then I catch it. Exactly. And he's like, well, I didn't see it coming. It's I'm not short. hot potato. I can't give it to him. I'm short. Like, then what the fuck? It's not hot potato. You know, life was better when I, even if I, even if I don't have enemies out there, or I know I do... It was nice to know that he had your back. But it was nice to know he had my back. Exactly, exactly. You're disappointing me, Bruno. It's, it's like, We're on a first name basis, too. Yeah, it's like Adele. Like, with the whole setting the rain on fire. I don't know if it was setting the rain on fire. Yeah. Was it setting the rain yeah. on fire? Yeah, yeah. She also claimed to do that. And she said hello. Well, I'm sure she does that to everybody that she sees. But not me. But have you seen her? Not for the price of tickets that she's charging, she's not going to see me. She, I, I'm doing the John Cena to her. You can't, you, you can't see me. Not Apparently for that she's price. She's letting the sky fall too. Oh, I know. What is this, Chicken Little? I don't know. 
Adele is not who she used to be. Bruno Mars is not who he, you know, who he says he is. Yeah, I always, I always had him in such high regard, even though he's short. I always thought he'd he'd catch that grenade, just like you know, I'd be scared. I see it flying through the air. The pin comes out. The top comes, and he just catches it and throws it. And he jumps it like in slow motion in front of you. And he and he and he catches it, throws it. And he turns around, looks at you, explodes the fucking flames behind him, like. And he's in the air and he's doing this. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, so th there's always that. So forget about Bruno Mars. Just remember, if you're if ever somebody throws a grenade towards you, he doesn't ever back. <laughs> he's not gonna catch it. He's not gonna. Catch he's not it. gonna catch it. He's gonna run in the opposite direction. That's what he's gonna do. All right. Uh, not that that has anything to do with psych work or or this well, video or shape this of a ghost. Well, if he grabbed the grenade and he died, I wonder what kind of shape of a ghost he would be. See, I just brought that full circle. Fine, loose ends. All right, on that note, guys, thank you very much to the Patrono that requested this because this, this was, was good. This was grade A goodness. This is what fucking dreams are made of. Speaking of dreams, the other speaking day I was having a dream that uh, that I was getting a blowjob and as is about to happen, I fucking woke up and I had to take a piss. I was, that, you know what? Even my fucking dreams blew balls me. Like, fuck, seriously? I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The one time that I can have some fucking fun, this fucking shit happens. This was not needed in this video. And then yesterday I had a dream that I was time traveling, which was fucking cool too. And then as I was about to do some fucking cool <laughs> shit in my time travel... It happens to me all the time. I woke up. You know, it's happened to me before where I've woken up from a dream, really pissed, thought of the dream, like thought of what I remember from the dream. And then you got back Go, back to, the, go back to bed and, and have the dream again. I've, like, I've done it maybe like once or twice. It, it's a it's hard a, skill. It's, it's, it's very hard to do. I've only managed, managed to do that maybe once or twice in my life, at least that I can remember. Go back and continue where I left off. It's a very hard thing to do. Nearly impossible. It's, uh, You're really going to be thinking you can, I can about count it on one hand, the, the times that I've been able yeah, to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, same. So, uh, but yeah. It, it didn't happen to me that time. So, I went back and I had a, a hard talk with my dick. I remember one of them. Fuck, I was, did you have to really piss at that time? I remember, like, fuck. I remember one of them. I was, um, I was part of the mob. Yeah, I was part of the mob, and I was wearing like the a white, like a white suit with a pink shirt underneath. What are you, Curry Luciano? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like Mikey. Like, the, there's this other <laughs> mob boss, but I was like, dude, I I was. In a, a nice car, like a like a lowrider type car. Mikey Calypso, two fingers. <laughs> it was such a good dream, and I was just driving this car. Uh, Curry Luciano, that was his fucking ending. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like sometimes I just crack myself up. Anyhow, on that note, I think we're good here. I think we're good. All right, see you all at the next one. See ya.